Health Info Talk provides health and medical information that is quality assured, reliable, up to date and easy to understand. Press the subscribe button for updates about all the latest videos of our channel. Press the bell icon and never miss a single notification from us. Check out the links below in the video description for all the popular videos of our channel. There are many awesome benefits with come with adopting a low-carb ketogenic diet, such as weight loss, decreased cravings, and even possibly reduced diseases risks. That being said, it's also good to talk about possible ketosis side effects so you know fully what to expect as you start this new health journey. Not everyone experiences side effects when starting a ketogenic diet, and thankfully, those who do don't usually experience them for very long. It varies with the individual, but just to make sure all your bases are covered, we're going to breaking down each possible side effect and go over ways to manage and alleviate them if needed. Frequent Urination as your body burns through the stored glucose in your liver and muscles within the first day or two of starting a ketogenic diet, you'll be releasing a lot of water in the process. Plus, your kidneys will start excreting excess sodium as the levels of your circulating insulin drop. Dizziness and Drowsiness as the body is getting rid of this excess water, it will also be eliminating minerals like potassium, magnesium, and sodium too. This can make you feel dizzy, lightheaded, and fatigued. Low Blood Sugar Also known as hypoglycemia, low blood sugar is another common ketosis side effect when beginning a ketogenic diet especially for people who were used to eating higher amounts of carbs each day. <music> cravings for sugar A great long-term benefit of the ketogenic diet is reduced cravings for sugar and other unhealthy foods. However, you might initially have stronger cravings for carbs during the transition period. This can last anywhere from 1 to 2 days to around 3 weeks but stick it out. At the end, you'll be pleased with the reduced, and often eliminated, cravings. Constipation As your digestive system adapts, you might initially experience some constipation when new to the keto diet. This is often caused by dehydration as you release more fluids. Diarrhea. On the flip side of the previously mentioned side effect, some people might experience minor issues with diarrhea in the first few days. This can simply be a result of your body adjusting to the macronutrient ratio change. In other cases, some people make the mistake of limiting their fat intake along with their carbs which makes your intake of protein too high and can lead to diarrhea. Muscle Cramps Loss of minerals when first starting the keto diet can cause muscle cramps, especially leg cramps, in some people. Flu-like Symptoms Within the first 2-4 days of beginning a keto diet, a common side effect is known as the ketosis flu or induction flu because it mimics the symptoms of an actual flu. This means you might experience headaches, tiredness or lack of motivation, lethargy, brain fog or confusion, irritability. Although these symptoms typically go away completely within a few days. Sleep issues. Some people have reported having trouble sleeping after beginning a ketogenic diet. If this sounds like you, it could mean your serotonin and insulin levels are low. Smelly breath. 
Some people experience the smell of acetone on their breath when eating very low carb. Acetone is one of the ketone bodies created during ketosis, and it has a characteristically fruity smell similar to nail polish remover. This is a sign your body is in ketosis, burning lots of fats and converting them to ketones for energy. Hard Palpitations In the first few weeks of eating low carb, you might notice a slight increase in heart rate. This is probably more common in those who normally have low blood pressure. It's often simply due to lack of salt and water. Avoiding Ketosis Side Effects If you noticed the common theme in most of these side effects with the ketogenic diet, it involves the transition in and out of ketosis. And this can be eliminated by drinking more water, increasing your salt intake, and making sure you're eating enough fat. If you do still struggle with symptoms, though, a last resort would be to slightly increase the amount of carbs you're eating to alleviate symptoms. Thank you for watching Health Info Talk. Please subscribe to our channel for regular updates and news. And do like our FB page. www.facebook.com, Health Info Zone. Follow us on Twitter at Health Info Talk 1.